Hey guys, Cam Callender here with the MSI Concept to bring it back to you. Eight income streams. We're on part number six right now for rental income. Rental income is one of the great long-term income streams that you can have with the real estate you know, industry. Having that rental income, something that you can build up, you know, especially once you get into, you can start to own multiple properties and have multiple streams of passive rental income coming in. You can have different companies actually managing those properties for you to be more of a hands-off passive type of income stream. But that's what's great about the rental income stream. But you can also build that up once you can get into the places to where you can actually purchase a home. Uh, but even if it's something to where you're inside of your own home and you're renting out just a room of your home, that still qualifies, you know, something that's rental income. So you want to have that income coming in for renting out a piece of your home or all of your home when you have that, when you have a property. So, you know, it takes some time to build up to get your, you know, credit and situation and financial situation in the right place to get into that financial situation to where you can start to earn rental income. And there's different ways to go about obtaining you know, those loans, but we do have resources here at the MSI concept. If that is a goal of yours, so definitely connect with us. If you are looking to obtain rental income, that is something that we can help you do and get that in the pathway of your situation of getting rental in rental income. But this is something here, you know, it's something great that it's something you already, you know, especially if it's something to where, you know, people are out there paying rent all the time, you know, but they, they're necessarily in apartments. They don't have a lot of control or leeway or creativity, you know, things that they can change. Sometimes pets can be an issue. You know, it's something that you can change, you know, with the rental income. Personally, myself, I do rent out a room in my home. And what I look to do is to own multiple properties with the, the multiple streams of income, uh, yet owning multiple properties by having multiple different properties, they can earn additional rental income off of, because I believe everybody should be inside of a home. They should have their own home, or at least aspire to, especially if they have children or pets that they endure and love, they, they should be protected and have that home, that home structure and be able to have that creativity inside of their home and decorate it how they want. There's a lot of places out there, you know, apartments and such, not such that you can't have certain pets. You can't have, you know, you can't put up certain types of de decorations. You can't change things or make changes or make adjustments. But, you know, when you have your own home, you get to do all of that inside of your home. And this, you can build an income stream with it as well. So that's why I think it's one of the, uh, the great income streams of having that rental income. It's a very passive income stream that can build up over time and very, very long term on that with that procedure, you know, because you got to go through the process of purchase, finding a property, purchasing that property, getting in a, a, a renter inside of that property, and then building on from there, you know, managing that property going forward, you know, with such as like a managing company or something of that nature you know, or, you know, and there's always going to be repairs and things that will come up just in any living situation. But it is a way that you can derive income from that, you know, and building that up. And then over time, you know, eventually get that property paid off so that it is a full, you know, process of income that's just coming in and you can build that up and have that extra income coming in over the long term of building that property up. Not only maximizing the, the, what you can do with the equity of that property later on down the road as well. So that's the quick piece that we want to go on with part six of just having that rental income. That's something that you may know about. If you want to definitely learn more, definitely reach out to us. You, know, you can chat with us at any time from our website, msimind.com. Definitely reach out to me if you have more questions, you want to get more information, or if that's some, a goal that you have, we definitely want to help you with that. So you know, if, if that is one of the income streams that you're lacking or you do not have, we can definitely help you on building that up and getting that together. So that's it for this income stream. Pretty short and sweet with this one because uh, it does take a lot of time to set it up. But once you set it up, uh, you can keep that ball rolling. So definitely uh, keep on tuning in to the rest of the series as we go through seven and eight coming soon. And then you can see the, uh, the recap at the end of all of that. And you can always visit our website, msimind.com. So I hope you enjoyed the content. Like, subscribe, and share if you do. And hope to see you on the next video.